Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and discuss what you can expect from it in the upcoming days over a long term outlook, right? It, this is going to be charts on a high, high time frame charts and we're going to explore the possibilities of where Bitcoin could go and kind of give you a game plan of what you can expect going forward. Right, before I actually get into the details of the stuff, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hardest trends in the crypto market and the content that we put out on almost every single day, uh, make sure to click on this bell icon. You can also give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy uh, the content that I put out where I kind of explain my thoughts on what Bitcoin is going to do and how you can trade that and scalp that, uh, make sure to give me a follow on Twitter as well at Mangeko with a zero at the end. Right, uh, coming back to Bitcoin, right? A few days ago, I kind of discussed uh, multiple scenarios for uh, Bitcoin where I talked about the different outlooks for Bitcoin. For example, in this chart, I spoke about how Bitcoin had kind of breached this extremely important support level that was kind of stretching all the way back to August 2018, right? And that was like another confirmation of why the price is going to go lower, right? And even now, now that the price is kind of bouncing off of this uh, 30,000 support level here, I think an uptrend is going to be kind of capped due to this uh, recently flipped resistance level. On top of that, I also discussed uh, yeah, I also discussed uh, the possibilities of uh, how Bitcoin price could crash to 29,000 and that was uh, based on this bull flag, a uh, bear flag setup that we see here. And uh, yeah, so that is kind of like a mix of a lower time frame outlook and a high time frame outlook. But in this video, we're going to talk about uh, Bitcoin and how there's a possibility that it could go up to 36k in the meantime. Uh, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin price is going to kickstart a bull run. So let's get into the details of the stuff, right? So this is a chart I've been I've charted this for quite some time now. I've been following this. I think. I think last September is when I uh, charted this chart and things are going pretty good. Uh, although I did kind of expect the price to uh, retest 50, anywhere between 50k to 53k before it actually, you know, like pulled the 180 and re uh, retested its 30k level, right? So back when Bitcoin was somewhere around here, I kind of expected, uh, which was somewhere around 42k, I expected Bitcoin to continue rallying higher and retest uh 50 50,000 roughly 51k to 53k right but that bitcoin bulls kind of fell short and uh the price kind of reversed its trend and then came lower so what's happening right now is so let me just quickly give you an outlook right uh the price action for bitcoin since 23rd since december 2013 has been kind of traversing a parallel channel an ascending parallel channel where right? and on top of that what's happening is that uh, the the lower so if you look at this particular channel right the middle point of this channel is uh, kind of acted as a resistance level for the the bull run in 2021 and that led to the ultimate uh, demise of the bull run and the start of the bear run right and if you further divide this uh, lower trend line into different parallel channels you can see the initial drop was kind of sustained by this middle point of this uh, lower Parallel channel. Uh, right now, uh, even even back here in probably around s December 2021, the price did consolidate quite a bit around at this level here before it actually crashed, came cr crumbling down. Right, and that. Yeah, so these are the things that I wanted to talk about, like just outlining what the chart has. Right. So another thing that I've added here is that uh, the trend-based Fib extension, which kind of move, goes all the way down to the $198, which was the bottom formed in 2015, uh, back to the all-time high in 20, 20, 2017, which was $20,000, and the November 2018 low, December 2018 low, I have a free 3.1K. Right now, I'm, I'm using uh, the Bitcoin US dollars chart on Bitsam, but the these numbers kind of vary on a lot of exchanges, so you got to be careful about that. So using this trend-based FIB extension uh, kind of shows that uh, the price saw amazing support at 50 retracement level here at roughly 31k and as you can see right now we're still kind of around that level uh, the next level assuming we kind of break above this 
about the 53k level which would technically indicate a sign of a bull run in my uh, analysis right assuming we kind of get above the 69k level which was 64 65k level which was the previous all-time high right uh, i think there's a good chance price could head up to the next level which is 115,863 dollars right interestingly enough this level kind of coincides pretty like extremely well with the uh prediction that i did back in i think it was jan 2020 before the covid crash right i think i did an article with uh where i, where I previously worked and in that article i kind of spoke about how bitcoin could head up to hundred eighteen thousand dollars although the timeline of it kind of fell apart i think the target is still obviously valid right in that particular article i predicted bitcoin could head up to hundred eighteen thousand dollars uh but this uh, fib extension kind of shows that price could head up to hundred fifteen thousand dollars right so if you zoom in my current thesis is like so far this has worked out pretty good uh what i'm expecting now is like move up to 36k right which would be this newly formed support around here uh and face an intense rejection around 36k right now this would mean uh, we are kind of in uh, a similar territory that took place in uh, during the COVID crash, right? So what I'm expecting is for the price to kind of move up to 36, 37k, get rejected there, which would be a dead cat bounce. It would trap a lot of holders uh, in the wrong direction, which will be followed. Hopefully, which will be followed by a crash down to 20 below 30k, and then an eventual move down to 19.6k, right? And if you uh, watched the video that i did a few days ago about bitcoin right in which i kind of explain how uh bitcoin could head down to 19.5 i'm not sure the video uh hopefully the video will be tagged in the or the article will be tagged inside uh the description of this particular video uh in that video i kind of explain uh from different how different multiple scenarios kind of align and move down to a single level they all point to a single level which is nineteen thousand five hundred dollars uh so even in this particular scenario i'm kind of expecting the price to head down to 90.5 k which is the previous all-time high the previous cycle's all-time high so that is pretty much it for today's analysis guys uh from a long-term outlook you can expect bitcoin price to head up to 36k which is hopefully i kind of feel like it's going to be a dead cat bounce but if we kind of move beyond 36k probably head up to 40k then i think i will have to kind of re, uh, like sit back on the sidelines and then wait for the price to see how it reacts to 53k because i've been talking about 50k for quite some time right if we get a weekly close up of 53k then i'm going to wait for a lower low higher low and then accumulate like go all in on uh, that low and expect the price to head up to at least 80k and 100 100,000 dollars in the upcoming months but this is an optimistic outlook if we kind of move above 36k and 53k would be a confirmation point but if we kind of get rejected around 36k which i believe we will then there's a good chance price could head down to 25k like it did the last time but this time uh, the price is going to extend all the way down to 19.5k uh so yeah that is uh, pretty much it from uh, the charting side of stuff but if you also look at the bitcoin monthly uh returns it kind of tells you how you can be kind of prepared for what's, what's about to happen next right so we're currently in may and june historically has produced an average return of 10 10 percent not not that great uh and july is also not great august is also not great right all the way all the way up to september i think we are going to be seeing uh a lot of chop and uh of directional bias favoring the bears so yeah i think uh looking at this uh, historical table where historical return tables for bitcoin kind of gives you uh, an idea as to how you should be prepared like you shouldn't be overly optimistic because the price is going to head up to 36k yes there's a pretty good opportunity where you could uh invest in altcoins and then wait for the price to 36k and then just take them out or if you, you can just be overly optimistic FOMO and then kind of be caught off guard when the price kind of takes a U-turn, right? So all in all, if I were to summarize this, right, it would be <clears throat> it would be 36k pounds likely, 
right you can if, if when it goes to 36k you can, guys can invest in altcoins that's what, this, this is my plan right invest in altcoins uh but trade them actively the second one is uh regardless of what happens right i'm going to be taking out or i'm going to be booking profits uh anywhere from 34k to 36k uh lastly uh what i'm going to be doing is trying to short the 34k to 36k range and stay in stables that is pretty much it like this is the actionable insight if, if there's anything that you can take away from this particular video it would be to expect this uh third bounce to the 6k which could turn out to be an uh, a dead cat bounce right and then if you uh, are the person that has a lot of time that you can sit around in front of the charts and kind of like actively trade or actively manage the investments then go for it that's what i'm going to be doing and regardless of what how overly optimistic the market might seem or how greedy the market might seem i am going to book profits when bitcoin hits anywhere from 34k to 36k and then i'm, I'm going to try to look for uh shorts down to 34k and 30, uh, around 34 36k region down the way all, all the way up to probably 20k i think i'm going to scale down when uh we've kind of hit 19 20k ish right so the last thing is uh keep an eye out for the monthly returns like i just showed you here like uh it'll present a lot of a uh, lot of platforms right uh so the next quarter all the way up to september is kind of looking a little uh okay-ish for the bulls so that's one thing right so the four actionable insights is keep an eye on the monthly returns Yep, so that is pretty much it for uh, today's analysis. If you enjoyed this uh, session, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.